Why did you, why did you uh, think of Agnes? I didn't because me and Aggie were hanging out on a daily basis, you know, like when she was in town. She lives quite close to me, so we, we would hang out and she would come over and she would listen to the tracks that we had when we were recording the second album. And she came over and she heard it and she liked it. And we were like, but did she, had, did she sing before? Or? Well, she could sing. I mean, she was supposed to, before she was a model, she was going to go to music school. But she's a lot more talented than I think people kind of give her credit for. She's, uh, you know, she's, she can really sing. And she has no, no issue with it. She loves it. I mean, she enjoys it. And I kind of feel like she wants to do it. But I think that her, her people, you know, her manager and everything, I mean, she's a very powerful girl in the model industry. You know? And they know that she's a very important asset right now in modeling. So they sort of pushed her into that direction. They don't want her to make mistakes or do... No, they want to make money like, and they want her to make money and everybody can make money. Yeah, but you yeah. want to make money also. <laughs> no, yeah, but you it's know, but, but it's, not, it's not the same kind of money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's not really that. I kind of miss playing with her, actually. I, I, we were saying that a couple of days ago when we were rehearsing and we were doing Who and I was like, damn, you know, it's really fun to have her on stage. She's really, really fun. And uh, she's, a lo she's a laugh, a real laugh. <laughs> And I, I kind of miss it a little bit, you know, to have her. Okay. But no girls oh, in the band. <laughs> no, okay. Um, yeah, and what's the song about? Is it uh, like a love song? Uh, that's more of the, the, the verses are very are more personal. In fact, in truth, who, the song, I had a chorus. Uh, I'd written the verses early. Uh, maybe two years ago I wrote the verses. And I had a chorus and I didn't like it. And it was like kind of like, yeah, it doesn't work. And then when we were rehearsing here, I wrote the chorus, the who, whoa, yeah. that bit. I wrote that uh, later on, and I did that here, and then it worked. So, the, so the, I kind of feel like the verses are very, the verses are very personal. They're, they're, that, that's definitely about my kind of thing, but it's, but it's more about me. But the chorus is definitely something that sort of just feels different from the verses. Yeah. It does, that's not about me, you know, I don't think. I mean, mm. subconsciously it might be, but. Yeah. Then that, 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 that makes it. Uh, it just worked with the who, you yeah. know, it kind of just flowed nicely yeah. and melodically, so I thought, well, yeah, it works. Okay. It worked. Yeah. Um, okay, well, last question then. Uh, do you have, what's your, your favorite song on the album, maybe? Or? I think Don't Say Don't is my favorite song. Okay. The reggae song. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the um, As, as right. the NME called it, white man's reggae. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I was influenced by a lot of reggae. Growing up in my hometown, there was a huge amount of reggae at the time. Like? Yeah. Well, you know, like yeah. Baswad, you know, yeah. and um, Bob Marley, of course. Uh, you know, there was, a, there was actually a big racial issue in my hometown, you know, between blacks and whites. Okay. And... Uh, I was, you know, also for like, from even from growing up, my you know musical youth, just those little things, you know. There was a massive reggae s surge, you know, on, and uh, it was brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but uh, no, it worked perfectly. I mean, I, I was hugely influenced by that stuff. Yeah. So there's so. going to be maybe more uh, into that direction. I just, th you know, I think we'll always be trying to do different sort of rhythm rhythms, you know. Yeah. Uh, I like the beats songs, you know. I like. I'm very at the moment. I'm very influenced by Motown, so okay. I'm listening to a lot of like Motown yeah. stuff. Yeah. And sort of trying to do some four to the floor stuff, you know, just like straight head. But also, you know, sort of more percussional, like Sympathy for the Devil, sort of Rolling Stones era where they were using a lot of percussion. If okay. you listen to some of that era, the Stones really aren't playing much drums, they're actually using a lot of percussion instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that kind of era for me, I'm trying to come, I'm just listening to that right now. Okay. Seeing whether it'll work in our yeah. environment. Yeah. Although, so next album's I'm not sure we have Keith Richards in our band, which is a shame. <laughs> and next album's gonna be a, a reggae album with a lot of percussion. Yeah, <laughs> a reggae album with a lot of percussion. Okay. And dreadlocks. And dreadlocks. Thanks very much. All right, man. Thanks.